something. Hello, are you peering at us through the bush with your big ears? Yes. Oh, don't fall. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's not going well this morning. <laughs> Did you fall down? What are you doing? It's now made friends with the tree. Because when you fall down, you need to then show everybody how strong you are by pushing at a tree. And look at it, how it's trying to use its trunk. It doesn't know yet exactly how to do it, but it's figuring it out. It's watched the adults and see, look, it's not as quite as good as the adults. Oh, no, no. Got to wrap it around. It's not. Here we go, come on, let's try again. Almost there. No, not quite. Ah, we frustrated now. That doesn't work. <laughs> what are you doing? This is why I love watching baby elephants. <laughs> David, you say he needs his mound legs. Yes, he needs almost like some traction shoes for mountaineering, with little spikes on the front so that he can learn how to get up. Is it given that it might be a boy? I'm not sure it's actually if it's a boy or a girl. It's difficult to see at this stage. But you are entertaining. You're a little entertainer, aren't you? Yes? Now what? Now you're going to come and charge at us and show you just how big I am. Okay. <laughs> you are full of character. So, Nikki, you say it's the tree's fault somehow. Yes, it seems now this tree is also in the wrong. So, all trees are bad this morning and they are going to be punished for this little one falling down the termite mound. Well, can you reach up there? Is that not the sweetest thing, watching this little trunk trying to pull off these branches? Safari so Wild Man, you're saying, could this be the first elephant to climb a tree? Well, I think in his mind, he's wanting to climb the tree, or she wants to climb the trees, he's trying to put the feet up, and but just not getting there. Elephants are not meant to climb trees, that one. If you've watched the leopards, you're watching the wrong people, or the wrong animal. Can't learn from them. Where have you gone? You've decided to disappear now behind all the thickets. Let's try just go up a little bit, because this little one is certainly very entertaining. Oh, there you come. Now that I've started, out you come. Yes, you are a big elephant. Look at you. Imposing and very, very, very big and ears out. <laughs> a little bit shy when we stop, though. Tries to get kind of behind the trees. and So, John, normally at about two years they can use their trunks fully. That's why it takes a long time and they, why they suckle for so long is because they can't use their trunk for about the first two years. It's not that they can't use it, it just takes a while to actually get used to it and get to work out how this long appendage of your face works. And remember that that trunk has got more muscles than our entire body, so the fact that it takes two years to learn how to use it is actually quite quick. If you think about how people battle in terms of the way that they move around and we battle to walk and feed ourselves and look after ourselves it takes much longer and they have to control just as many muscles in the trunk alone let alone the legs and the ears and all the other things that an elephant has now i want to just quickly go forward here 